after you've planted your tomatoes, the next thing is feeding. Feeding is what determines the yield. Regardless of the variety, if you have a good variety and you don't feed it well, you will definitely experience low yields. Here is the tomato fertilizer application schedule. The fertilizer that you need to apply, how, and even the quantity. Top dress with the DAP, NPK, 1717 NCAN fertilizers on the 14th day after transplanting, 45th day after transplanting, and 16th days after transplanting, respectively. What do I mean? I mean, during planting, you don't apply the DAP. Two weeks after your seedlings have developed, you can now come and apply the DAP. At this time, the seedlings will have developed the root hairs and managed to absorb the fertilizer. If you apply it during the planting, it may be easily reached away and not end up helping the crop. After that, 45 day, equivalent to one and a half month, after transplanting, you can now apply NPK 17-17-17. It has the balance nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These will initiate fruiting and flowering. So you don't skip this one and go to CN, no. This one will initiate fruiting and flowering and give you high number of fruits and flowers. After that, then two months after transplanting, you can apply now the CAN fertilizer. CAN has the calcium that will help in the expansion of the fruit. And that's why we usually recommend it to be done 60 days after transplanting. You can supplement this fertilization by applying nitrogen poly fertilizers. Such as you can apply is the grow vegetative on the first month, that is two weeks after transplanting and your top testing. Every week you do is a grow vegetative to enhance for your growth. On the second month after transplanting, now you apply the NPK for your such as Wuxo uh, and also Advanced K. This one has more potassium and it will help in fruiting and flowering. On the third month, you can now apply calcium leach foliar fertilizers to prevent blossom end rot and also these calcium boron foliars they will prevent in fruit and flower abortion. 